Tuesday. Got a bowl of porridge. That's a, a chock shot. I want to get a new vlogging camera. This is the Canon G7X. It's a vlogger's staple. Very, very popular in the YouTubers world. However, the lens on this is terrible. Oh god. I look awful right now. The lens on it is terrible. It just allows, like, loads of dust gets in it. Eyelashes look good, though. Oh, if I get an LVL soon, they're gonna look mega. So basically, a common problem with this camera is that dust and grit really easily gets into the lens. So it's all right for a while, but then when you go out and shoot in sunlight, you get lots of dust particles and stuff. On my uh, most recent vlog where I used it on Easter Sunday, I just, the footage was, for me, I just, ugh, I couldn't bear it because it was just full of dust and stuff. Also, um, I love using this microphone. It just sounds great. And it's all well and good using it on a DSLR or on my Olympus EM5 Mark II, but um, they're both not very transportable. And with the world opening up and me wanting to vlog more and more out and about, I want something that's gonna be compact, but still able to use my microphone. Now, this does have a mic jack as well. Um, I don't know whether that's compatible with this, I'll have to check, but it's, there's not really anywhere with uh, anywhere to put it on here. You can get rigs, you can get things to clip it on, but that would defeat the object of it being um, compact. So I've been looking at reviews for cameras online and I found a new Sony specific vlogging camera which looks amazing. I've read all the reviews. It's got loads of settings and functions on it which are perfect for vlogging. It's got a little hot shoe mount where you can put an external microphone, flip out screen, it's got a button for blowing backgrounds. It's got really super fast, sharp focus on it. So you can literally hold up something in front of it and it will focus straight away. And I'm talking in seconds, like milliseconds, the focus change. For example, if I hold up my hand here, how quickly is that gonna change? See what I mean? So I'm gonna pop to Wex and see if they've got any. Or I know, I know they've got some, I checked their stock online, but I'm gonna go to Wex, have a feel for it and then I might buy it. I'm gonna get my hair done on Friday and I'm gonna go hang out with my manager and I just wanna have a, like, a vlog a day in London. I can't tell you how many vlogging cameras I've had over the years. For me, I mean, to anyone else, it might seem that that's excessive and that I'm spending too much on cameras, but like, <laughs> the actual like, and this isn't me justifying it, this is me justifying it to myself. The, only, the truth of the matter is, is I am a business. I am a, in the, I'm a sole trader, I am self-employed. And you kind of have to, you have to invest in your business and buying cameras is no different to a fucking builder buying new tools or a carpenter buying a new drill or a sander or everyone in their businesses has to buy shit to make their businesses run. And to be honest, it's quite cool. I like collecting cameras. I'm just going to have my breakfast and crack on with my day. Oh, ball sacks. Where did I put my phone? Yeah, so... Uh, I'm going to be doing, yeah, I'm going to be doing a reel on this camera though. Sometimes I do it on my phone for that like see all the face kind of thing, which is great. But I want this one to be super nice close ups with really short depth of field. Like, you know, you get the product and it's like, whoa, you know, that kind of niceness and it's gonna be all close and... I found a palette when I was sorting through things that I've not used, and I'm, I don't know how old it is, but it's pretty old, but I'm gonna use it. Oh look, look at these earrings, I've got to show you these. They're from a brand called Still Groovy, a little Etsy store, got sent it in my PO box. Look at them, they're cute. Oh, <laughs> Right, crack on, let's crack on. I'm gonna film this reel, and then we'll see where we're at. I can't find my Apple Watch, I don't know what time it is. I really don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Finally done my reel. This is like three attempts to do this eye makeup because I want, I'm trying to do this like, I was doing this, let me turn that down a bit. I want, I've been on hold for 20 minutes to make a vet appointment. Three attempts it took me to do this. 
three. This is hard. People in the 60s, honestly, big congrats. And I've seen loads of people doing this um, all over my Instagram and I absolutely love it. I gave it a go myself and fuck me, it's hard. Um, you've got to get the right eyeliner. Like I kept finding that some, like just too dry or too thick, not precise enough. Like I wanted this line to be a bit thinner. I kind of like how it's turned out, but you know how it, sometimes it snags on your skin? It's like a duh, 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 duh. That's what I was getting with this. So I need to get like a really wet liquid eyeliner, I think. Or a gel. <gasps> oh, here we go again. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Gel liner. Gel liner on a brush, I think. Please work. Keep, just keeps doing this. Makes me think I'm getting through and then it'll go back to the hold music. perfume should I put on? Mama! This is avant-garde collection. She could gallop on and rain. This reel took ages to film. More than long, way longer than I'd liked, but oh well, we're here. I think I'm gonna be on hold for the rest of the day. Shoes, shoes. What's going on? Don't give up this time. Dry boots. I'm going with these ones today. Love these. Go downstairs, get my shit together. I'm gonna get a wax. Go look at this camera. Hi, Dee Dee. Mum's going out. Hello there. Um, I am wanting to book my dog. I'm here. Ooh, I need a mask on. Right, I got myself some goodies here. We've got the camera, a suction cup to put in the car and a new lead for my microphone because you might have noticed, you might not. I definitely have because it gets on my tits, but it's been making a really high frequency, like I try and drown it out with the music, but I'm seeing if it's a lead issue because I'll be so annoyed if it's the whole microphone. So I'll spit a tenner on a new cable, hoping that will be the solution, but we shall see. I uh, have just popped into B&M to get some, some essentials, but I've just asked where the um, oat milk is. So the lady's going to find someone because it's her first day. That knows, but she's just put me here in the sweetie aisle. So fingers crossed, <laughs> don't get ooh, dessert pastels. Let me get my shopping. Anyone else have the, uh, uh, has the, uh, uh, Guilty of going to B and M, right? And going in just to buy like bog roll, and then ending up with a fucking ring light <laughs> and a tray of shit. I went in there to get milk and um, toilet roll and wash washing tablets, but um, I got other stuff too. I picked up this. It's a little little ring light for your phone. I'm gonna put it on my windowsill so I could got um, when I use my phone when I film in the dressing room. It's a bit dodged because I balance it on my radiator or I use like this fake succulent, succulent to, to hold the phone. So I got this, it acts as like a, a stand. I hope it's not massive. A stand and, well if it is, I guess it's not the end of the world, it'll still come for your phone. Open that, let's see what it is. My new camera's charging, I'm so excited to use it. <laughs> Whoa, that was so easy to erect. To be fair, that would just sit on the floor nicely. It won't really get in the way. And then you got your phone. Phone holder. That was 25 quid. That's bargain. Cool. And it folds nicely. Nice one. Found this little plant. Fake plant. Five pounds. I'll put that in my bedroom. Then I bought Philly a little treat. Well, I bought one for both of us. Biscoff and go. I picked him up some hay fever wipes because he's so snotty at the moment. His sinuses are terrible. Suzuki. I'm gonna have some flaffle pitters. So I thought, oh, that'd be good. I bought myself a Kit Kat Gold. Never tried that. Look great. A little leaf dish. 
to put on my bedside table for my, my rings and jewellery so I don't lose them. And then just got a couple of these because I, I fucking love a storage box. Tea bags, essential. They didn't have any oat milk. I was a bit sad about that. So I've just, I, I messaged Phil to see if he could grab some on the way home from work because I didn't really want to have to go back on myself to go to Asda to get more. Um, we're not eat, we're not drinking. We've not drank cow's milk in a few weeks. Ugh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I stopped drinking cow's milk because I thought I didn't I don't need to drink cow's milk. And now the thought of drinking cow's milk freaks me out. And uh, I'm gonna try and avoid it if I can. I've not cut out. Um... Ah! So we've both been cutting out dairy. Doing pretty good. Not like cheese and stuff. Just being a bit more kind of more and more conscious about consuming and cutting down and all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna make some lunch. I'm gonna have, I had the, I've had the corn piri piri and I wasn't impressed, but I'll try the, I'll try the kebab ones. Yeah. I've got some editing to do. I need some laptop time. I'm gonna shoot a real TikTok. It's gonna be a quick one. It is my vegetarian kebab. Just don't want it to be dry, so I'm just putting in... Yeah, that's corn kebab stuff. I definitely nuked that in the air fry. Probably needed less time, but not bad. I can't put in me, but you wrote in that song about me. Just changed into a jumper. A bit nippy. Still it's quite nippy, isn't it? God, there's chocolate everywhere on this sofa. Got some editing to do. Finally order these t-shirts. So if you are a follower of my band Sunny Bones, you may know we've been selling t-shirts and we sold some t-shirts a few weeks ago and I didn't quite anticipate how popular they would be. And we sold out overnight. I was absolutely flabbergasted, shocked, amazed, overwhelmed. But it seems so I, so then what happened was I had a bit of a kerfuffle because I then put up on the shop pre-order and then I ordered some more t-shirts. But then after I paid for them, I got like a day later, I got an email from the supplier saying that they wouldn't be able to supply them, that they're missing these sizes, but we can wait. So I thought it'd just be easier if I just get a refund and stop the pre-ordering. Um, and then they were like, oh, we won't be able to get any in stock for a while. So I tried another company, but it seems that this particular t-shirt that I want is very popular because nowhere seems to be able to get it in stock. And um, also because I'm coming up with a few other designs as well, and there's other t-shirt styles I want printing on. And it's just been, a lot of back and forth, figuring out what there is in stock, what's available, when it's gonna be available. So we've finally come to a, not an agreement, but like a, okay, we can fulfill this order. I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna, I need to pay for the order and then they should be coming through. I'm really hoping that it's not too long that we have to wait. So it will be another restock of the Be Cool t-shirt and then it will also be a couple of new designs. So here we go. This is Australian Kit Kat Gold. Oh my God, I know what it's gonna be like. I can go, go, go. Vlogging camera. Hi. Whoa. Look at this. Watch. So, hello, it's Helena Phil. And if I go, look at my hand. Whoa. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see how quick that was? And it came back. Mm. It's got a little red light on the front when it's recording. That's handy too. It's actually, it's like, it's a marketed as a vlogging camera. Yeah. I'm, I like this so far. Got an online event, online event to attend. This is for the event. I've never received a box this big for an event. Shall I look what's inside of it? Okay. Wow, wow, it's a basket. Clinkity clink. Look at this. Ooh. Got some nice towels. Some fake tan. Oh, just what I need. Popcorn. 
that there's, oh, the popcorn's here. What's in, <gasps> oh, this is glass. San Tropez in Manhattan. It's a Manhattan, I think it's a cocktail. Ooh, it's a game. Ooh, and we've got some bronzing water mist. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tan tomorrow, I think, because I was getting into the habit of doing it, but then I had to, I stopped because um, I needed my laser, and I can't be tanned when you get laser, and then I just fell off the wagon. Emily, can you hear us? Woohoo! Let's get this show on the road, shall we? I, I mean, I feel like I'm talking to a room full of experts, so I'm always curious what you guys have learned that I haven't learned, but the face purity mist has been like a game changer in my life. I've been talking about it ever since we launched the Ultimate Glow Kit because I feel like the two go hand in hand. Like, you really can't have one without the other. My light on my laptop, there's like a ghost on it and it keeps like lowering the light, so I'm very sorry, everybody, but. I'm on the new camera. That's what I was using, my lovely little Canon. Hello, this is the new camera, Phil. Hello. Hello. You okay? Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. You're gonna sneeze. I just had my event and it was really good. And I had my dinner in the middle of it. <coughs> but I, I turned the camera off. Um, but it was good fun. That bottle of cocktail they gave me has gone. It's gone. He delivered on the oat milk. What are you doing? What's in there? Huh? What were you doing in there? Hmm. My peony. What are you up to? Hmm? Hi. Phil's trying to find my iPad. Not my iPad. <laughs> Phil's trying to find my Apple Watch because I lost it again. I lost it the other week. Or a couple of weeks ago. And I've lost it again. Your work tablet is in the kitchen on top of the microwave. Yeah, I went skating on Friday and I was wearing it and I came back and then I had a, no, Dee Dee, I'm talking to the camera, wait your turn. I came back, I had a bath, but I, ca I can't find it now. I'm gonna draw some pictures when it's charged. Should we put the telly on? I'm gonna have my Lotus Biscuff. I know that the watch is in the house because it said the last place that it was, with its battery on, was in the house. They're making a prequel to Game of Thrones. It's called, it's house. called House of Dragon. Oh my God. I'm drawing a flower. On here. It's nice. Yeah. Hmm. Doing some shading. Okay, so it is bedtime. We watched a episode of Superstore. Legendary. The children have been oh, having peepees. I'm gonna put my microphone and everything on charge. <coughs> Happy with this new camera. Dee Dee, who's out? Is Lola in? Lola's in, Dee outside. Okay, come on, darling. Good girl. Right. Good night. Thanks for watching. What a nice little day. Good night. Good night. Good night.